For this episode, I will show you guys how I made this Popovi inspired wig. So I think the easiest way is to actually do have her head onto her body. So the first step is to make the wig cap. So this is going to be my second wig and it's a wig for a ball jointed doll so I'm quite excited. The first step is to make the wig cap and for that we have to go ahead and protect her head with some saran wrap. Like I said you can choose plastic but I want to use saran wrap because you are... I want to use saran wrap because then you can see her actual face. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of cloth or fabric that's fairly thin or stretchy, um, very flexible, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on her head and then we're going to glue this on to make the wig cap. It just finished drying overall and you can you know it's dry when you can kind of see through the glue and obviously if it's all kind of yellowed. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the actual wig cap. So right now it kind of looks like a helmet <laughs> and you know you can stop there if you want just color it in but I'm gonna go ahead and take a break from this and now let's go ahead and make the hair wefts. The hair that I'm gonna be using is saran hair. Um, it's what I've been using so far then this is my second wig. So these ones are in raven black in medium length. Um, so it's called medium for a reason because when you use it for reroot, it's gonna be this short, literally. So it's just gonna be that. But if you use it for wig, it's double that. That's why I kind of would rather use it for wigs because then I save money just using medium length instead of a long length. Like I said, this is from dollyhair.com. I'll put a link down below for the website and all that. And um, right now, let's go ahead and make the webs. So you're gonna be taking parts of it and then you're just gonna be gluing them So now I have all of my wefts laid out. I actually did not use the third packet. I still have it here. Um, I only used two of them because I think it's enough. I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for these to dry and then the fun part begins. So we're going to need some Styro Ball. And this one you can get anywhere like Walmart or any craft store. This one I got from Walmart. We're actually going to put it behind her head. Um, so this is gonna be the updo. It's a good way to make updos and make crazy shapes for your dolls um, for the wigs. But first I do want to cover this with hair first because it's easier. <laughs> so before, before I start actually gluing the hair, I'm going to paint the wig cap and also this piece with black acrylic paint. Just so that, you know, there's no white part showing if the hair is too thin. So, yeah. So I just finished with the bun part and it's really really cool. You know I did it piece by piece. Although it made the bottom over here a little bulkier, um, it'll be fine because it'll be kind of behind the head anyway and obviously we can also paint this with black which I will do later. For this area I had a problem because some of the hairs kept falling so I just kind of sealed this with glue and so the hair doesn't move anymore.
As you guys saw, I just painted some of the glue black um, just to cover it up. But this is how it looks inside. So you pretty much just literally cover the wig cap and that's pretty much it. I just painted the glue part black as well. Um, granted that it's not really going to be obvious, I still want to play it safe. So I'm actually going to make an, a smaller bun over here. I decided to kind of change up the design. So I'm not going to follow complete I'm not going to follow through the concept art completely and I'm just going to make two um, double buns. So it's pretty much going to look like this on top of that and then this is going to be towards the front. So it's going to be like that. Obviously it's going to look better with black on black. So I'm just going to do the same exact method as this one and I'll show you guys after I'm done. So here I have an overview of every single part. Um, this one is just a braided weft. It's nothing really. It's not a big deal. I may or may not use it, so we'll keep it handy just in case. And this is the wig cap itself, and it's pretty nice, it's pretty neat, it's um, it's pretty cool actually, I love it. Um, I just attached a string here for now, um, just so that when we glue the other parts, it's not going to come out. So it's just a protection that we can remove later. And then this is the smaller bun, um, so it's a pretty much same exact technique that I use for the bigger bun and then also like I said we have the big bun here I'm gonna go ahead and attach the wig cap onto her head and then we're just gonna start gluing the pieces together so this is the finished product this is the finished wig and I can't be more happy with it. Obviously, it's not perfect. It is a it is my first time making um, an elaborate style of a wig. I learned new things and new techniques with it. Yeah, so I added actually just the braids over here towards the bottom to kind of clean it up, and it looks pretty good. It's um it's a subtle detail. So this one it actually does not stay without the strings attached so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add glue gun um, to the wig cap and let it dry a little bit and then pop it on so overall I am quite happy with how she looks and you know so overall I'm quite happy with how it looks and the entire wig um, I love the concept of it and it's really really nice the only thing that I really would change is the actual wig cap itself because it's not as low as I want it to be um, I think next time if I'm going to make something like this I might do a hard wig cap instead of a softer wig cap like I might use paper um, and paper mache or something like a harder material to make the wig cap out of because this wig cap is so flexible that it really, like, I guess pulls it. I'm really, really just excited to create this character and I'm so glad that I am able to share this with you guys and share how I make her character. Um, I hope it's gonna be like, I'm not sure how long this series is going to be. The next video in this series is actually gonna be her face up and her makeup and then, you know, body blushing and then her costume and all that. So... Yeah, we're gonna wait until everything is done, and I hope I'm able to really perfect this character. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, and give it a thumbs up if you guys did. And I hope to see you guys on the next episode. Bye!